a warrant for a cruise ship? Stay tuned. Welcome back to So You Want to Travel, where I give you tips and tricks that I've learned along the way of being a travel agent for 22 years. A warrant for a cruise ship? What in the world? This really is a good example of how the travel industry has been affected by the pandemic. Crystal Cruise Lines is actually a luxury cruise line and a lot of people love traveling on them. In fact, they have a number of repeat customers. So this didn't occur because of the fact that it's a bad cruise line. What happened was their parent company had to file bankruptcy. And that's how we get here to where the cruise ship is running from the law. So how is travel doing anyway? If we look at the news, as I've mentioned in the past, we see these negative news articles about the cruise lines. And if we look just at that, it seems very grim when it comes to travel, but people still are traveling. Right now, the Caribbean and Mexico are the hot spots, along with Costa Rica and Colombia. A little further away, you have South Africa that a lot of people have been traveling to, Greece, Turkey, and also Italy. And starting February 11th, international travelers won't have to have a test in order to get into the UK. So I'm sure tourism is going to go up there as well. The travel industry is resilient. If you're like me, you have travel in your blood. And so right now, since I can't travel as much as I used to, going on a road trip is so much more exciting than it used to be. In times past, for example, the recession that was from 2007 uh, to early 2009, we bounced back from that. And do you remember SARS and the swine flu? We definitely bounced back from that. And the one that I thought was going to be a real hard one to bounce back from was 9-11 and the continual terrorist attacks that occurred afterwards. But we bounced back from that. Some of my passengers are booking now for the end of 2022 into 2023 just to take advantage of the great prices that are going on right now. Some of my passengers are actually traveling as early as March. So of course it's everybody's decision, but the point is people are traveling. So what about you? Do you plan on traveling in 2022? Or are you gonna wait until 2023? Or are you just gonna wait, period? Leave it in the comments down below. The day that I'm filming this video is National Plan Your Vacation Day. And that was the 25th of January. So it has since, of course, passed. So put it in your calendar for next year. Uh, bad news is most of the deals were only for that day. Good news is Qatar has a really great price right now out of certain airports here in the US. You have to book by January 31st and travel by April 30th but there are definitely deals that you want to take a look at because Qatar is an excellent airline and one of the destinations is Dubai. And as I mentioned here in this video, that's one of the destinations that both the CDC and the Department of State have said that it's safe to travel to right now. Of course that can change. As I always say, it can change at any time, but as of now, CDC and Department of State both say that Dubai is safe to travel to. So head on over to the Qatar website and take a look at the travel deal that they have available. In the meantime, talk to you later.